This motherfucker, his luck, he has the most luck in mixed martial arts. I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating. So Mike Jackson versus Pat Militich has just gone down. Yeah. So the first round, Pat Militich, 55 years old, drops, <laughs> he drops fucking Mike Jackson. Like I'm not even exaggerating. He was, a, he was beating this shit out of Mike Jackson. So uh, no glove touch, and Jackson lands a pair of leg kicks. Militich shoots for a takedown. Jackson is able to stay on his feet, but is drilled with a big right hand by Militich, and Jackson goes down. Militich goes for a Kimura, but gets a crucifix position, is unloading with elbows repeatedly on Jackson. Militich talks some trash while landing more elbows. Still just over two minutes to go, and more uncontested elbows landed from Militich to the delight of the crowd. Jackson in full survival mode as he is as he eats another elbow, but Malatich has slowed down, perhaps to conserve some energy, but then lands a few more elbows, and he gets a clear 10-8. Then they go, then uh, Militich gets him down, gets full mount, it's beating the shit out of him. Uh, Jackson gets back, he lands some shots, which seem to hurt him a little bit, but still, I'd say Militich, I'm pretty sure, got the second round. But still, he was tired. He was exhausted. He was so pretty much he was exhausted from beating Mike Jackson up so much at 55 years old. Like he literally was beating the shit out of him from what I've heard. But apparently, yeah, he's 55 years old. His cardio is not going to be the greatest. And he just couldn't get to the, he couldn't come back out for the third round. And so Mike Jackson gets the win by TKO. Like what the fuck, man? Like, this guy is so lucky. He gets a DQ over Dean Barry where he's getting his ass beat. He gets a fucking win over a 55-year-old man who is literally beating the shit out of him. This guy, how does he keep getting all this luck? Gets a fucking fight against CM Punk. Turn, it goes into a no contest. Gets ran through by Mickey Gall and Pete Rodriguez. Like, this guy has the weirdest career in all of mixed martial arts. I don't even understand how this guy is a real person. How is this a real career in mixed martial arts? Like, I, I just, I can't believe he won. You know, technically he gets the win here, but fucking, did he really win, man? Like, does, does he really get the win here? Like, let's be real. It's not a real fight. Like, he, he, was, he got his ass beat. Can you really count that as a win? Oh, you know, a 55-year-old man couldn't come back out after beating the absolute shit out of you, after dropping you. Like, you only, only you didn't beat Pat Militich. Mike Jackson didn't pe beat Pat Militich. Father Time beat Pat Militich. Oh, man. Still upsetting to see, but still, he got his ass beat. So that's always, that's always good to see. But... Yeah, man, fucking hell, Mike Jackson. He is the luckiest man that he, he... His two wins in MMA consist of him getting a DQ in a fight he was getting his ass handed to him in by a fucking featherweight. And then his second win consists of him getting fucking 10 8 in one round and then getting 10 9 in the second. He didn't win a single round against Pat Militich. Like, he didn't win a single round and he's just got it, went out there and got a win, like... That is the story of Mike Jackson's life. He didn't win a round against Dean Barry either, and he got a win. He's he's had the worst, best MMA career of all time. Like it, it's insane that this guy was ever in the UFC because he's so shit that he's literally getting knocked around by a like I say, he's getting knocked around by a fifty-five year old man. He's thirty-eight years old. You know, you're getting knocked around by a guy seventeen years older than you, and you were just in the UFC. This guy hasn't fought since two thousand eight. In mixed martial arts, ah, uh, fucking hell, man! I, I don't, I don't get it. I honestly, I don't get this world. <laughs> mixed martial arts is such a weird sport, but yeah, genuine ten eight by fucking Pat Militich, but the gas tank just, just wasn't there, man. But yeah, I just thought I'd update it since I'm like the only person on YouTube who's talking about this fight. But yeah, unfortunate for Pat Militich. You know, he, he was kicking Mike Jackson's ass. That's all that matters. You know, may, the record books will say Mike Jackson won, but really morally and fucking literally, 
Pat Miletic was beating his ass. I'm sure he could have survived in that third round, but why why take all that damage when you're 55 years old? But, you know, he goes out there and beats his ass. So that's, at the end of the day, Pat Miletic beat the shit out of Mike Jackson. Who knows if Mike Jackson ever fights again? I think you do Ch Ch Mike Jackson versus Jake Shields. Make the fight. Jake Shields will beat the shit out of Mike Jackson. It will be so bad. It would be brutal, you know. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I doubt you see Mike Jackson fight again. He, he's gonna hang his leg, you know. He's gonna fucking twiddle out of there. He, he knows that he can't beat anyone legitimate. He's not gonna go out there and try and fight anybody. You know, he's shit. He's not a good fighter. I'm not exaggerating. He literally just got his ass kicked by a 55 year old man who hasn't fought for 15 years. You know, like that's enough. That's all you got to say. He's like literally, he got whooped, 10 aided. You know that that was Pat Miletic's. First fucking mixed martial arts round since 2008, and he goes in there and 10 8 you. Literally floors you, almost KOs you. And you're meant to be some big boxer, like you're meant to be this like golden glove boxer and all this shit. Like you have a horrible chin, you're shit. But we're going to hear all about Mike Jackson winning this now. Apparently he was really disrespectful to Pat Miletic as well, so much that Jens Pulver had to ha was actually screaming at him and having a go at him. You know, Jens Pulver is much smaller than Mike Jackson, but I wouldn't surprise me if Jens Pulver would knock him out because Mike Jackson is generally a bum. He is so shit and he's racist. So, you know, at the end of the day, racist Mike Jackson got his ass whooped. He should have lost, but he didn't. But, you know, at the end of the day, he got his ass whooped. He, he got the win, but... You know, in his mind, he's del he's a delusional person, so he's going to take that victory. But you know, you can't count that win, man. You, you should not be happy with that win. It it, it just tells you how much of a snake he is that that he's happy with a win like that. But yeah, fucking hell, man, what a freak. But anyway, that that's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching. Just thought I'd do this quick update. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts if you watch the fight in the comment section below. Uh, and if you ain't already, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.